In this video, I will show you how to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 version 25H2 on any computer. Windows 10 is officially ending support, so now is a great time to upgrade to Windows 11. First, on your computer, let's download and install the PC Health Check app from Microsoft. This app will help you check if your computer meets the Windows 11 system requirements. Method 1. If your computer meets the Windows 11 requirements. Let's open Windows Update and make sure your Windows is up to date by installing all available updates. Once all updates are installed, you will see an option to upgrade to Windows 11 version 25H2. All you need to do is click Download and Install, then Accept and Install. Windows 11 version 25H2 will download and install automatically. It could take one hour to complete. Please be patient. When it's done, let's restart your computer. As you can see, Windows 10 has been successfully upgraded to Windows 11 version 25H2. All your data and installed apps remain. Additionally, after upgrading, if you are not happy with Windows 11 within 10 days, you can go back to Windows 10 without losing any data or needing to reinstall. This is possible as long as the Windows.old folder on your system drive is still available. This folder is automatically deleted after 10 days which is why you can only go back within this period. To do it, let's open Windows Settings. Select System Section. Scroll down and select Recovery. Click the Go Back button to revert to Windows 10. If the 10 days period is over or the Windows old folder is deleted, the Go Back button will be disabled and if you want to go back, you need to do a clean installation. You can click No Thanks to skip checking for updates. Click Next to continue. If you have changed your sign-in password after reverting to Windows 10, you will need to use your old password to log in, not the new one. Finally, click Go Back to Windows 10 to complete the process. Your computer will restart automatically, and this may take some time so please be patient. As you can see, the system has been reverted to Windows 10 without any data loss or reinstallation. Method 2. If your computer meets the Windows 11 requirements, but you don't see the upgrade option in Windows Update, you can use the Windows 11 Installation Assistant to upgrade to Windows 11 version 25H2. First, visit the official Windows 11 download site and download the Assistant. Open the downloaded file. If the computer meets the Windows 11 requirements, you will see the Accept and Install button. Let's click on it to upgrade. The tool will download and install the upgrade automatically. Once done, restart the computer. Similar to the first method, you can go back to Windows 10 within 10 days of upgrading.
Method 3. If your system does not meet the Windows 11 requirements, you will not see the upgrade option in Windows Update. When you try to upgrade using the Windows 11 Installation Assistant, you will get an error. So, we need to perform an in-place upgrade using an ISO file. Let's visit the Windows 11 download site. Scroll down to download the Windows 11 ISO. This step is very important. You need to choose the language for the ISO that matches the current display language of your Windows system. If you choose a different language, when you upgrade, the option to keep your data, settings, and apps will not be available. For example, this computer uses English, United States, so I will select English US for the ISO file. Once the file is downloaded, let's mount it to your computer. Select the setup.exe file, hold down the shift key, then right click on the file and select copy as path to copy the full path of the file. Next, search for CMD. Right click and run it as administrator. Right-click to paste the copied path. Run this command to upgrade to Windows 11 and bypass all requirements. You will see the title install Windows Server, but don't worry, Windows 11 will actually be installed. When upgrading, make sure to select Keep Files, Settings, and Apps to keep everything. Finally, click Install to continue. As you can see, the computer has been successfully upgraded. And like the other methods, you will have the option to go back to Windows 10 within 10 days. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.